hey guys welcome back so today in this video we're gonna talk about the initialization or assigning an na value to your identifier na value or any variable is a very unique and very useful option that is available in Python script which we can use in order to assign our variables or our identifiers and use them or change it later in our code under certain conditions there, there is going to be a separate video on the explanation of what is an a variable and what it does in this video i'm going to show you how you can assign the any variable to your identifier in different scenarios okay so here we can see in most cases an explicit ty explicit type of declaration is redundant because the type is automatically inferred from the value on the right of the equal to sign at the compile time okay so let's define a variable let's say integer and if I assign it a value of 2034, the PyScript compiler will automatically know when compiling it that this integer is of type int, okay, or integer. Now, there are certain cases when there is no value being assigned, like in case of NA. And under that condition, it becomes difficult for the PyScript compiler to identify what type of identifier this is. And... So the decision to use them is often a matter of preference, okay? Decision to use these uh, types, float or int or uh, boolean or any other type is optional, okay? So here you can see that baseline zero is equal to NA. And what this will do is it will give us a compilation error at the end because here we're not assigning or we're not defining what type of value the na is going to be in future because na is nothing but not available okay similar to what we use null or any like empty value or no value when we assign no value to the identifier so this na value is not of any type and this identifier is not of any type so this becomes baseless and the compiler will be like it will be harder for compiler to know what type of uh, the identifier this is going to be in the future so the result of this declaration will be in the first line of the example the compiler cannot determine the type of baseline variable because na is a generic value and of no particular type we need to assign a particular type and in this second line here we can see that float baseline one is equal to NA. Now here you can see I have defined that NA will be float. Okay, the baseline one identifier is a float type and I have assigned a NA value to it. Even though NA is nothing, okay, it's nothing or like the value does not exist yet, but I have still given the type that it is going to be used as in future. And here you can see the declaration of baseline one variable is correct because its flow type is declared explicitly and this is what we need to do whenever we are using the na variable because it will be easier for compiler to understand what type of the identifier it is going to be in the future now in the third case here there is baseline 2 is equal to float and inside the brackets we have given it na variable now the declaration of baseline 2 variable is also correct because its type can be derived from the expression float.na because it will tell the compiler that this baseline to identifier is also float type which is explicit cost of an na value to the float type okay so the result of this video is that whenever you are using the na variable or assigning the na variable to any identifier you should define the type of that identifier so that compiler can understand it and there are two methods that you can do that first uh, method is you can first give the type and then identifier name then assignment operator and then the na variable the second type or the second method is you, first you define your identifier and then after the assignment operator you write what type of the variable or what type of the identifier it is going to be and then after that you write the na inside your curly brackets I hope you guys like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to subscribe and like this video see you guys in the next video thank you